Demon possession, that's a very difficult topic to talk about. Now, according to the church, we are to believe an actual devil, you know, an actual entity. In the case of the man I'm currently exercising, we start with him lying on the floor. Because to, to start with him in a chair, there's not enough people that can hold him down. When Hollywood wants to show you demon possession, it doesn't show you a smiling person who's just ordered a whole town to be destroyed. It shows you a screaming 16-year-old puking, screaming, cursing. Unfortunately, a lot of the misconception came up with the 1973 movie, The Exorcist. Prior to 1973, Satan seemed all but dead and gone, the casualty of a modernist mindset. It was not mainstream thought. And after that movie, because it was such a successful movie, it became mainstream possibility. Exorcisms, ooh, the spirit. It didn't matter what the culture or what country I was in, the questions were the same about religion and God and the devil. Is there a possibility of possession? If you don't speak German or French and all of a sudden you're speaking German and French, where'd that come from? There's a lot of people doing a lot of dangerous stuff and it's becoming much more accepted. My specialty in my former life as a Satanist was to conjure up demons and to use my body as a vehicle for which they manifest themselves. Spiritual warfare is going on out there in the world. It's going on in our own lives. Everybody on this planet is in this battle whether they know it or not. The question is how do we understand it and how do we win this battle?